if you're not ready for hair growth please do not bother to make this oil on today's video we will be making a super potent hair growth oil to grow hair on balls pulse thicken hair help increase your hair growth from stunted hair you won't regret making this oil if your hair is stagnant bald thinning breaking shedding dandruff and other hair and scalp problems welcome to the channel my name is tima please watch this video to the end as to get all instructions this is a very simple and straightforward hair growth treatment that i'm sure you have all the ingredients is a treatment that comprises of four simple ingredients for today's recipe ginger is our first ingredient the vitamins minerals and antioxidants available in ginger aids in hair growth and improve the health of your hair a scalp massage with ginger oil can help stimulate the hair follicles and further circulate the dth away from the scalp which causes the thinning of hair ginger increases the scalp circulation that results in the flow of blood to the scalp the fatty acids in ginger are beneficial beneficial for thin hair. Ginger also contains antimicrobial and nourishing properties that can tackle hair fall and stimulate hair regrowth. Grab a sizable ginger like so and then peel the back. After peeling, transfer it into a bowl and it's ready for washing. Moving on to the next ingredient, I have garlic. All we need for this recipe is four cloves of garlic. Garlic rejuvenates your hair and helps in hair growth. Garlic as an ingredient boosts hair growth and stimulates hair regrowth. It is rich in vitamins and minerals that are essential promoters for hair growth. Whether you use it topically or in your diet, the properties of garlic can stimulate hair growth. Garlic has a high content of minerals like calcium and zinc. These nutrients promote healthy hair growth. Garlic is also rich in sulfur, which is essential for the foundation of keratin, a protein that aids hair growth. Massaging your scalp with garlic oil help strengthen your hair thicken your hair and grow hair on both spots and also they help your hair roots after peeling the garlic cloves i washed thoroughly to remove impurities and dirt and then i placed it on my paper towel and then dab that dry just to dab it dry basically you don't want to use it wet so after dabbing it dry i set it aside put it in a plate and set aside and then proceeded for the next process. Moving on, our third ingredient is cloves. Cloves contain high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair. They can be used for protecting the scalp from dandruff, which is actually a major cause of weak and thin hair. Cloves also contain anti-inflammatory agents which further help in the thickening of hair. Cloves promotes hair growth as it offers intense conditioning to our hair follicles as well as boosts blood circulation in the scalp. For the proportion, I measured out a tablespoon of cloves and transferred into the bowl containing our ginger and garlic. Moving on, I went ahead and pounded this. I pounded this using my mortar and pestle. You can use the dry meal of your blender, the dry meal blender and blend this if you don't have mortar and pestle. Next, grab a beaker like so, sizable beaker like so. If you don't have beaker, please use anything you have around you provided is sterilized. For how I sterilize my tools, please refer to my previous video. I will attach it in the end screen. So for the oil, the carrier oil, I chose olive oil. Please, if you don't have olive oil, feel free to use coconut oil, grapeseed oil, or any other carrier oil of your choice. Next, I added castor oil for the proportion. I used a teaspoon of castor oil. This castor oil is actually cold pressed castor oil. It's not like the regular black castor oil that you have out there. This is the cold pressed version and it's sold in pharmacies. So I used a teaspoon. Moving on to the next ingredients, I use jojoba oil. These oils are optional. Please, if you don't have these oils, stick on one you can use just olive oil or maybe coconut oil whichever you have around you using this my wooden spatula i stir to combine all the oils next i transferred 
the ginger, garlic and cloves paste into the beaker. I made sure I stir to combine all the ingredients because whenever you pound some stuff like cloves and garlic, they come in lumps. Make sure you stir this properly for the ingredients to mix together. Proceed to your stove. Light your stove, pour some water in your pot and then place on the stove. Cover the pot. Please, you do not need to fill up the pot with water. Just little water is enough. This setup is DIY double boiler method and is perfect for this recipe. You cannot infuse this any other way aside this method, DIY double boiler method. Allow it inside the water bath for 15 minutes. Once it's 15 minutes mark, bring down the beaker and allow to cool down completely before you sieve. Okay, allow it on the surface to cool down completely before you sieve so it doesn't burn your hands. Next, for the sieving process, I'm using my sieve, a bowl to collect my oil and a cheesecloth just so we can trap all the particles. After sieving, I transferred my oil in my applicator bottle with the help of a funnel this oil is super potent you don't joke with this oil if you're not ready for hair growth please do not make this oil that's the warning and this oil is ready ready for use this oil can be used for several things you can use it as your pre poo hot oil treatment as a sealant scalp massager you can apply it on your scalp and use it to massage your scalp this oil can last as long as six months provided is in a cool dry place provided you store it in a cool dry place you can use it on your scalp daily on on your problem areas daily if your scalp is not sensitive please listen if your scalp is not sensitive you can use it on your scalp apply sparingly on your scalp every day use it to massage your scalp every day use it to massage your uh, problem areas every day if your scalp is not sensitive but if your scalp is sensitive please use twice a week apply on your scalp twice a week apply this all on your problem areas especially on the boarding areas where you have board patches apply this all daily on that area on that spot massage it give yourself a gentle massage you can also use it as a sealant after moisturizing your hair just as i'm doing here use it to seal your hair imagine mixing clothes with these two powerful ingredients like ginger and garlic guys in fact i can't wait to hear your feedbacks i'm patiently waiting for you all's feedback at this juncture i draw the curtains thank you so much for watching today's video Please stay safe out there and I'll see you in my next one shortly. Bye.